Tell us what you're doing here. Alright, we're going to put it in a primary fermenter. Okay, so it's nice and cooled it's off after you... 80 degrees. Oh, wonderful. Perfect temperature. We're going to start it. What's all that foam in there? Is that acceptable? It's star sand. It's a no rinse sanitizer. Alright. Alright. Either people are going to say, oh my god, when, when I post this on YouTube and the people experienced beer makers are like, oh my god, he's putting sanitizer, he's leaving it in the beer, or they're going to be like, that's no big deal because I do that too. Why are you shaking it? I want to get plenty of oxygen in so we're aerating it. Oh, we're aerating it, just like a fine wine. That's right. The yeast love oxygen. Yeast love oxygen? You need oxygen to work. But oxygen is the enemy of beer. So the yeast eat the oxygen, turn it into alcohol and CO2 with the sugars, and then the CO2 escapes, and there's no oxygen. Wonderful. Or as they say in Germany, Wonderbar. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Zupa. I got so much more beer left. Give it a little shake. Is that just aerating it more? Yep. Making sure that the sanitizers worked in to the beer real good. So you don't you don't get you leave a little bit in the in the um, pot because of all the crap on the bottom. Yeah, all the stuff settles to the bottom, and then you just leave it in. You just scrape it off. Dump it out. Take it. Take a nice big spoonful. Have a bite. Uh, if I if I dared you if I bet you a dollar would you eat the stuff on the bottom? <laughs> I would not. Mm. Oh, you're, it looks like you're going to take a specific gravity test. Let's take a sample. What <laughs> if people could do this? Like to sell the beakers and stuff. Buy it at the local science supply store. Mm -hmm. Just sell it to both for like twice the price. Because that's a graduated cylinder? I don't think it's graduated. Isn't that what they call it? Next week. Oh yeah. Say, so what's a graduated cylinder at the when we're judging the science fair? And I'll have no clue if they're right or not, but I'll just hope they. But well, we're going to be judging computer science, so well, I hope so. Look at that deep brown color. What does this look like in here? All right. Sanitizer. Tastes delicious. That's the secret of the beer makers. Is that in the German purity laws? You're allowed to have sanitizer in your beer? I don't know how that works. I don't know how they sanitize their equipment unless they boil everything. They probably don't have plastic fermenters. Well, you can't boil a plastic fermenter. <laughs>
good one. I saw it smoking a little bit when we were. Where's our five gallon part? Top of that. Top of that's five gallon. So that just came. That sticker came on there. No, I put it on. How do you know it's a five gallon mark? Because there was a mark on there. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, it's. Oh. It's getting good. It's a little less than five gallons. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Amazing physics. So is it above the sticker or below the sticker? Is your five? Man, that is thick. There's not even yeast in there yet. Yeah, this is gonna go crazy when I put the yeast in. It's gonna mean the the bubbling of it. Yeah, it's just gonna completely Oh, you're at the five gallon mark. I think you got some of that gross bottom stuff inside of there, but that's okay. That's okay. But don't you have to? Oh, you're just doing that temporarily, right? Because you'll have to put the yeast in there. Yeah. Take it inside. 